Next morning, a bomb fell by our house. But, but when I think of the bomb, it was like very shallow because those bombs were very, very, and I even remember the, the place where the bomb fell. And this was, this was in time of the holidays, of the Jewish holidays, when the war started. I remember we walked barefooted from Zamosh to Khrubyashov. It's many, many hundreds of miles. Meanwhile, I fell in love with a young man, and uh, I was left behind. My family went to Russia at this time. This was 1940. And I, they married me off, and as soon as they left, they took away my husband to the Russian army. And I never saw him again. I went in, and he asked me, was for the Fräulein? So I said, ich suche Arbeit. And he asked me what I can do. I said, everything. Can you milk a cow? I said, yes. I've never milked a cow in my whole entire life. Sunday, you could only survive with Germans. You couldn't survive with anybody else. I only was working with German. When I worked for them, I was safe because the Poles and the Ukrainians recognized me. They used to tell me that I don't, I'm not Jewish, but I have Jewish eyes and so on. They, for some reason, they recognized me. I spoke a very good Polish. I'm educated and they, they recognized me. And one day, the lieutenant opens the door from that kitchen and said to me, Maria, the war is over. You don't have to be afraid anymore. He, he, I was afraid of the bumps, you know. And he said, the war is over. This was May the 5th of 1945. This was in Austria. And I sat down. And I started to cry. And I said, God, I survived the war. Where am I going from here? Who, who do I have? Where am I? Who am I? And I cried very much. I thought I'm the only Jew that I survived. This is why I waited so long. I wasn't sure. I didn't know about camps and crematoriums.